Did you know that your chance of developing a double chin or a turkey neck is less dependent on age and heredity and much more dependent on how you hold and position your head in your daily activities every day? Working at your computer, driving in your car, talking or texting on your phone, even while you're exercising. Let's look at these positions. At your computer, you most likely sit with a classic head forward posture, shoulders rounded and chin dropped, hour after hour, day after day, and without realizing it, you're giving gravity permission to pull the skin and natural fat around your face and neck downward and forward. Hours, months, and years of this positioning working at a desk will without a doubt create a double chin and saggy wrinkled neckline. The same is true of your car, commuting for hours each day, or talking and texting on your phone with your head again forward, chin down, and shoulders rounded. While you're exercising, you might get firm abs from doing crunches, but you're also getting necklines and wrinkles in the process. Not to mention, you're actually weakening your posterior neck muscles, the very ones you need to keep good head alignment. So what are the best positions for your head and your body to prevent the dreaded double chin and neck lines? On the computer, your body should be positioned so your ears are aligned with your shoulders and your chin held level rather than dropped at an angle. In your car, make sure your headrest is not pushing your head forward. If it is, you can take off the headrest, turn it around, and put it back on. This gives you plenty of support and room for you to extend your neck. Keep in contact with the headrests to avoid dropping your chin. When using your phone or any mobile device, hold it at eye level with your chin level and your ears aligned with your shoulders. So how can you get firm abs without creating weakness, necklines, or wrinkles which you get from the classic crunch? Lie flat on your back with your neck straight and lift your knees to your chest. You use the same abdominal muscles without promoting ugly neck wrinkles or weakening your neck. Remember, you can't blame your family tree for your double chin. It's really caused by the constant gravitational pull on the skin and the natural fat around your face and neck with a head forward posture every day. There are specific therapeutic strengthening techniques that you can use to tighten up your neck muscles, hold your head in proper alignment, and keep the double chin from happening to you.